What's up everybody, this is Phil again from Minimalist for our 10th video tour. This is a tiny home called the Magnolia and this, this is a special uh, project for us and um, we kind of decided to step up our video tour game with a real producer who's doing the job behind the camera right there and it's gonna be incredible. So the Manuela is a 10 by 34 uh, tiny home. It's a four season tiny house on wheels, but we have a bump out, a uh, two feet bump out. So the, the house is pretty much 36 feet. It's our biggest tiny home uh, to date. Uh, it's pretty much comparable to the, the Eben tiny home. It's the big, biggest tiny house we can build in our shop. So this design is made for two person living in Ontario, Canada. So we have a tiny house for the Canada's winter and it's, it's gonna be pretty much used as a, as a cottage uh, for the, a few couple of years and then probably one day they're gonna move full time in it. First of all, uh, one of the things on this tiny house is there is the, the heating system. We don't have a radiant floor in it. This time is a split unit. Uh, it's good uh, up to, um, down to minus 25 and up to plus 25, 30. So it's uh, a heater and the AC at the same time. And this is pretty much the best thing you can, you can buy uh, for a split unit. As usual, you, we have a galvanized steel trailer for our Canada, uh, Canada's tiny house. And another first on this tiny house is we decided to uh, install some um, Sioux Shugi band for the black cedar you see there. Um, the good thing about this is that it's never going to fade uh, with the sun. It's one of the things we wanted. Um, we already did some black tiny house, but the ver it's, it's just the very best thing. If you want a black, uh, black stain, the very best thing will be the Sioux Shugi Bang, the more durable and the, it's just the best thing. So now we're, this is the north side. So this is pretty much why there is less window because this tiny house, uh, we never put as much windows on a tiny house than um, this home. There is eight windows in the, the front. And this is gonna be the south side and the customer is gonna build a deck in front of it and as usual, I'm in love with this. So let's go inside, you'll see that it's a very different tiny home. It's a very different interior and uh, it's a lot more uh, wide than usual. Come in. So when you come in, you have the entrance closet right there closet sorry about that so uh, when you come in uh, you have right there the living room area one difference we have with the event is that uh, we have a very open space for all this living area for the kitchen and the living room uh, in the event I don't know if you, you guys remember but we had um, the loft the bedroom loft just up the living room right now it's not the case uh, it's a very big living room uh, the bump out was used pretty much for the, the, the custom furniture and all the storage. We have the, the, the TV, of course, but there is a lot of storage for the books, DVDs, and uh, all the stuff here. And then up there, you have the mini split exit and you have the Lunas exit. The mini split is not an air exchanger, so that's why we still have the Lun Lunas HRV in this house. And then, you can see that our customer wanted a lot of windows and you, you have two bi very big windows on both sides which, gi which gives us a very, uh, there is a lot, of, a lot of lights coming in this area and I'm, I'm so happy how it came out because like when we do the video tour, it's pretty much the first time we come in the house and we realize what we built. So, that's pretty much why I'm so happy when we do the video tour. Yeah. 
Uh, we did a lot of work on the lighting design in this house. Our customer wanted a lot of lights everywhere. So uh, right there you have uh, an LED strips for, um, for this custom furniture. And if our customer want a TV mood, it's possible to close all the lights in the living room and give another uh, mood, kind of. And you have all the lights are on dimmer, so uh, everything is so dimmable. <laughs> so when you when you come in the house, we have all the control. It's pretty much the control center of all the lights. You even have uh, the the control for the loft lights, the storage loft. And here you have the the, the control for the the ceiling fan. And there you have the the one for the mini split. And I think it's just great. You come in, you uh, you put the right temperature, you set everything, and now you can just have fun in your incredible tiny house. What else? What else? Ah, there it is, the kitchen. So when you get into the kitchen area, uh, you have the peninsula right here. Our customers didn't want a standard table. They really wanted that uh, peninsula. So it's sort of an extension of the, the main countertop and it's real quartz, so it's not fake. That's what they wanted. So it, there's plenty of storage in that kitchen. There's top cabinets, uh, bottom cabinets, tons of drawers. Uh, you have here the, the dishwasher uh, to match the kind of luxurious countertop and uh, luxurious cabinets. Uh, our customers wanted high quality appliances. So you got the convention microwave oven and the induction cooktop, along with the standard range show that we install in our houses. You got the farm sink with the nice, um, yeah, this faucet. The faucet, kitchen faucet, faucet. <laughs> So what I like the most about this kitchen is with the size of the countertop, uh, you, have, you got the induction cooked up in the bottom here, but everything's close to, uh, you can reach pretty much everything from the working area and all the countertops. Here you got the breakfast area, so customers can make their coffee here, have the coffee machine, you got storage underneath as well. And here you have, you have the fridge and uh, it's an apartment size fridge. It's uh, bigger than the smallest fridge you can put in a tiny house, but less smaller than uh, typical um, refrigerators. A cool thing about this design is uh, the black handle that matches the black faucet with the black and stainless uh, furniture. And here you have the washer dryer. Yeah, no handles here. Of course, they're pretty, but we're missing two. And uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with this. Um, maybe they're not gonna do their laundry and yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> So to continue with uh, high quality appliances, our customer uh, wanted the stackable washer dryer. Uh, so it's full size, it's gonna do great laundry. They're gonna have the cleanest clothes on the market, I'm telling you. So we access the loft with this custom cedar ladder and like other ladders, it's really comfortable, but you cannot sleep in it, it's a ladder. So the main purpose of the, the loft area is gonna be storage, but you can fit a twin size bed if you want in there. The, the half wall is higher than, uh, than usual because they wanted more privacy. They didn't want to close it full for air exchanging purposes. And for safety purposes, we always put rail guards. Uh, these ones are custom made and it's uh, oak. And it's oak. Here's the barn door mechanism. This is one of the greatest bathroom we did so far. There's a consideration we had to take for uh, this bathroom. Uh, one of the customer is six feet three, so we had to adjust the height of the ceiling so we can be comfortable in the bathroom. So join me in, we're gonna have a lot of fun. So here we got the custom vanity with the quartz countertop that matches the kitchen countertop as well. And uh, there's plenty of storage underneath as well. So this medicine cabinet, uh, actually I think it was made for Matt Damon or something because it's so Hollywood style. Yeah, what's up? So it's uh, LED, LED light and um, yeah, so then they can clearly see their face. And uh, yeah, I have a pimple right here. 
So here you got the composting toilet with the paper holder and we always like to put uh, a window somewhere in the bathroom and as you can see the bathroom in tiny houses are quite small so there's not many spaces where you can put a window so that's the best area to put it. Uh, you got the controls for the thermostat. In the bottom here we got one of the three auxiliary uh, heating system that work um, along with the mini split system so they can either run on both. You got another one in the kitchen and there's another one uh, in the bedroom actually. So here you got hooks for uh, towels or whatever else and you can open it and it's the mechanical room inside. You got three uh, other hooks inside so you can put more stuff. So here you got the hot water tank along with the two different filters that we put inside our plumbing system. The small particle filter, big particle filter and this is also the place where we install the fire extinguisher for uh, safety purposes. So yeah, that's the nicest feature of the bathroom, in my opinion actually. Uh, it's uh, 32 by 42 um, custom shower. So yeah, this is the same material as the Eben and the Lila. It's a custom aluminum panel uh, for the shower walls. These shower panels are pretty much the best thing you can put uh, inside a tiny house. Uh, they're resistant to pretty much everything and they are easy to maintain and easy to clean. Another cool feature about this toilet here, it's sort of an hybrid system. Underneath you got the connection for a standard toilet. So if you don't know if you're gonna move the house to another location where there's no uh, sewer, no uh, connection to city services, you can have either the composting toilet or you can have a standard toilet. Huh? <laughs> All right, that's it for the bathroom. Now it is on privacy, okay, bye. Hi everybody, I'm Elise. I'm coming out of the closet tonight. I want to say that I'm not Phil's or GP's wife. I'm the woman in charge here, so let's see the bedroom. So our customer wanted a very big bedroom, so that's what we did. Uh, they really wanted a king-sized bed. Um, underneath the bed, we have um, a lot of storage. I think this is the, the biggest storage we have in the whole house. Um, as you can see, we can lift up the mattress and if he, even a very small girl can lift that up so I think this is nice and we have three big windows um, for a safety matter we have a egress windows on the right side um, we have a lot of storage above the, the bedroom and nightstand each side of the bed electrical outlet with USB plug which is nice for like a, a cell phone charge your cell phone or anything. Uh, we have very nice light here if you want to read in your bedroom. Here um, a TV stand, TV stand to watch movies. We still have a ceiling fan right there and you can adjust the speed and the light which is nice. So we have another sliding door here. So for people who don't like um, bedroom in the loft. Uh, this one is very nice because it's on the first floor so you get a high ceiling uh, it feels so it feels very big and you can walk around your bed and you can uh, change your clothes in your bedroom and you can make the bed. That's it. That's pretty much it. Okay guys we would like to thank you for following us on Instagram and Facebook and for all your support. Yeah. Yeah, yep. and we love you guys, and uh, if you ever want uh, your dream tiny house for 2019, it's still a very good time to order from us, and yeah, I hope you like the video and everything, and uh, let's do a chin for the, the, the end of the video, maybe? Yeah, chin to that, guys! Chin to the 10 tiny house! Woo! Woo! We did it!